Hello there. As promised, today we're looking at the Amiga. So as you can see, I've just fired the machine up um, and the game, the, the, the disc is not inserted. If the disc was inserted, it'd just boot up like a, like a standard Amiga. It'd load whatever was on the disc. Um, but mine has the WHD loader built in. So as you can see there, you can see the hard drive disc like flashing. And then what it does is it boots this up in its own time. And then what you've got here is loads of stuff I know, bugger all about, and the thing I'm really interested in which is the games. So you've got all these folders full of stuff. Um, uh, let's, let's click here. It's quite hard to do this one-handed. <laughs> So you've got loads and loads of games. Um, the issues with it is, uh, it's quite slow. Uh, if there's an intro to a game, it tends to load in like, it's very jerky. Um, I'm trying to think of one that has an intro so I can show you. I can't think of one. <laughs> I can't think of one. Uh, you'll just have to take my word for it. Um, so you try and load a game up. Uh, Let's try and load a game up. Uh, yeah, and some games just won't load. Um, so you get this little little box here, and what you have to do is you have to click on the game, and it fires up. So some of the games will not load, because there's not enough memory. And some of the game's intros are no good, because there's not enough memory. And some just won't play. Uh, this looks like this one plays. So what we're going to do in the rest of the video is we're going to split this part, and we're going to put this in and we're going to put this in and this will hopefully cure all my problems um i don't know what risky woods is i've never played it <laughs> yeah but we're not playing it we're gonna we're gonna when you come back this will be in bits and hopefully i won't be swearing because i won't have killed it all right so i'll see you in a little bit so here we can see i've split the amiga in half um i've pulled out this caddy tray thing which went under here, uh, remove the disk drive, and uh, there you can see the WHD load where it sits inside. Um, I'm going to take that out next, and then I've got to remove all this heat shielding to get underneath. Um, so I'll do that, and then I'll fetch you back. <laughs> see you in a second. And we're in. <laughs> Getting that heat shield off was a pig. Um, I've sort of cheated. I, I haven't removed the uh, keyboard membrane. I've left that on because I've heard that people, once they disconnect them, they're never right and they end up having to replace the keyboard. So uh, the keyboard membrane. I don't want to have to do that. So I can I can manage from here. We're going to put this ROM there, and then this board goes. Uh, I think it goes on that one. <laughs> But I'm going to have to double check because it might be that one. I, I can't remember. But it goes on one of them and not the other. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'll double check and then we'll get them fitted. Yeah, that's the plan. It's going all right so far. I don't think I've broken anything. Fingers crossed. As you can see, the uh, fast RAM and the uh, ROM chip are all installed now. Um, easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> they only go in one way. You just have to make sure that the the end two pins here, the the the, the chip, the chip's not as long as the slot it goes into. So there's there's two empty pins. The must uh, Amiga must have got them cheap, uh, and then that's over the CPU, and it's hopefully all clicked in. Now all I have to do is reverse the process, refit the heat shield, refit the WHD load, the drive, and the tin thing, and then. Uh, Hopefully, it'll all fire up. That's <laughs> in a bit. Right, as you can see, it's all back in bits again. <laughs> it didn't go to plan. Um, I've done a stupid thing, but there's a reason for it. Well, no, there ain't. I shouldn't have done it. Um, the first thing I did was uh, I booted it up, and the WHD load just wouldn't work. Everything else, the the new chip and everything, all booted up, but it just acted like a standard Amiga. It, didn't see this at all so I took it apart put it together clean took it apart clean pins took it apart took it back there back and forth back and forth and eventually I got it to work 
The only problem was, as I've split it and put it back together and lost my rag and basically not being as careful as I should have done, I've done what I said I didn't want to do at the start of the video, which is I've disconnected the keyboard uh, ribbon thing, which goes in there. And now I can't get the bloody keyboard to work. <laughs> I know there's somebody on the other side of the world now that's going to know exactly how I feel. <laughs> yeah, so I've no keyboard. So uh, I'm going to try and clean these pins up and um, hopefully save it um, and then get it all back together again. I'm, I'm gutted. <laughs> Things were going so well. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll knock the camera off now and then I'm going to mess. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, you're back on. The Amiga's booting up. It's back together after being apart a billion times. As you can see, the hard drive lights flashing, power lights on. Um, big thanks to uh, Wayne and Mark who helped me last night. Because <laughs> I got very stuck. I couldn't get it to work. Um, but then I've come back to it this morning and it's, uh, it's worked first time. So it's all back together now. And hopefully, there we go. Look got the screen as you can see this colors have all changed um i don't know why um wayne says you can change the colors in the menu screen but i don't mess with stuff so i don't even know where the menu is <laughs> please tell me in the comment section anyway so if we go down to the keyboard now press the cat locks key it lights up <laughs> i fixed it <laughs> yeah i don't know what i've done different maybe i've pushed it home a little harder i'm not sure so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put the camera on the tripod and then we'll we'll just load a game up and you can see how much quicker it is. Yeah. Right. Second. There, no more shaky cam. <laughs> right, let's uh, go to games. And already you should be able to see, as I said, how much quicker it is at uh, going through the menus. Um, but that's not something that really bothers me because as people who now watch my channel, I play on the Spectrum, so I'm used to waiting. Um, the main thing that bugged me is a lot of games did not work and uh, the intros, the intros, I think I mentioned at the start of the video, they'd stutter and it wasn't due to the disc accessing like you used to get when you loaded from the disc. It actually just, it was as if it was loading in, in really small packets. So when they did the intros back in the day, they'd sort of try and make it so when it was loading, a, a little sequence had finished and we got used to that. But what it's doing, what my Amiga's doing, is it's stuttering in between the stutters that should be there. So it's basically unwatchable. You just tend to click through them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load uh, a game that I know was terrible. And I really should have put this on at the start of the video. Because you, you just have to take my word for it. That the uh, it was unwatchable. And now it isn't. Just give it a second. Me. <laughs> I hate it when it does that. <laughs> it's a very sunny day. I'll have to apologise. One of my all time favourites, this. With no sound. Why have we no sound? There you go. Gotta have the sound. So as you can see now, uh, the intro just plays. Um, I can't remember if there was any gaps, uh, but there is none. It, it just uh, goes all the way through. Um, it seems to me to be faster than it was off the discs, um, but that might be my memory playing tricks. But it certainly is. It's certainly watchable, which it wasn't at the start. It, like here, you'd get halfway up there and it'd stop for three or four seconds while it loaded this next bit, whereas now it just plays through. So you could actually enjoy the intros. Um, yeah, I'm really chuffed with this. Um, so it only leaves me to say, uh, thanks to everybody who helped me. It was a team effort, this, as usual. <laughs> uh, and thanks to um, Amiga Passion for the, uh, the the super fast 8 meg doobry thing. Uh, I will put a link to these guys, but you can see it there, look. There, look. I don't need to put a link. I can be lazy. <laughs> I will. I'll put a link and... Uh, yeah, thanks to everybody. My Amiga is now the best it's ever going to be and uh, the best it ever has been. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I think that's about enough. I'm not sure how long this video will be because it's all in little segments at the minute. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get it up in the next day or so. Um, 
and then uh, we'll get some Amiga game videos done, I think, and some more specky stuff. Uh, yeah. As ever, thanks for watching, those who did. Catch you later. Bye-bye.